Let's have a look how to create and delete the tasks from running operating system based application. It is possible to create a, a task and delete it from other task entry function. We'll create a simple example where uh, we then start task 1. We will create a task 2 with the same priority as task 1. And then we've been already created a task 2. So we then start task 2 function. We will delete ourselves and give the space to task 1. And then in the next iteration, task 1 will create again task 2. And the story will continue uh, like this. It is possible to create a new one and delete a task from other task entry function. Let's start with a task creation. We can use an example from previous part, so for example yield test, and uh, we can change the priority of task 1 to OS priority normal to have the same priority for both tasks. Then we need to comment task 2 creation part in main.c file. Then with an start task 1 function we can create task 2. As you can see task 2 will be created each one second so we need to delete it fast enough to not stack our application. It will be the role of start task 2 entry function. Within this endless loop, please use OS thread terminate function with a handler to the task to be deleted, task 2 in our case. Here in the picture you can see the code flow for our example. And what we can see, we can see that uh, task 1 is executed uh, first, I would pause it. Uh, then task 2, then again task 1 and task 2. Please have a look that um, we are not executing, uh, we cannot see an effect of this line. This is due to the fact that after this the task is already deleted and this code is not executed anymore. Let's have a closer look on the OS Street Terminate API function. So the function which is used to delete the task from our let's say, task list. It is not, a, let's say, the must-to-have function within the FreeRTOS. This is why we need to enable it within the configuration file of the FreeRTOS. To do this, we need to include vTaskDelete row, and uh, this vTaskDelete is a name of the function within FreeRTOS API of this operation. So, in fact, the function we are just referring to, so OS Street Terminate, coming from CMC's OS v2, is calling vtask delete. It is done within CMC's underscore OS C file. And the only argument both functions are using is uh, the ID, so the handler of the task to be deleted. And uh, how this uh, vtask delete is working. vtask delete is uh, defined within task.c file within freer ties sources. And uh, as, let's say, deleting or removing the task is quite important part of uh, functionality of the operating system, it needs to be done uh, again within the critical section. So at the beginning of this function call, we are entering into the critical section using the macro task enter critical, which is uh, blocking all of the interrupts and uh, operating system. So everything not related to the operating system will be still functional but uh, all the interrupts which can execute the code of the operating system and the interrupts which are responsible for the context switch would be blocked. So we are operating on the base pre mask register again. Okay, so we are in the critical section. Then what is done? Uh, scheduler is removing the task from the ready list using function UX list remove and it's uh, using the task from the waiting for the event task list. So, uh, for example, uh, removing from the list uh, of the tasks which are waiting for some semaphores on queues. Then, what is important that uh, in case the task is deleting itself, the function is switching execution to the next task calling function port yield within API. So, it is important just to perform the switching of the context. And important point which you can see in this uh, green box is that even when we delete the task, the memory is not automatically released. So it is not coming back as a free resource to be allocated. It is done within the next execution of the idle task. The release of the memory from the task, or let's say, or from the other components is in hands of the idle task. It is one of its role during its execution. 
So this, this is an important message that it's not fully automatic process and from the other side, we really need some time to execute the idle task to perform this cleanup of the operating system. Thank you for watching this video.